Are you looking to get your first AWS Solutions Architect job or Cloud Architect job? Are you AWS certified and you're struggling to get hired? If so, this video is for you. Hi, my name is Michael Gibbs and I'm the founder and CEO of GoCloud Careers. Now, I've been an architect now for over 25 years. And I've spent more than two decades helping people just like you get your first architect job or get promoted in tech. I also have graduates working at Apple and Amazon and Cisco and IBM and Google and Microsoft, Accenture, Deloitte, KPMG, Capgemini. And I want you to have that same degree of success. So let's talk about what's taught in AWS certifications. Now, I'd still like you to get some AWS certifications, a small number but I want you to get them so you can help get an interview because they're great for that. But unfortunately, they won't give you the skills to be a cloud architect or an AWS solutions architect. And let's talk about why. In an AWS certification like the AWS solutions architect professional, here's what they teach. The name of an AWS service and how to configure that service. But here's the problem. We architects don't configure anything. We design solutions, not configure them. And here's the reality. I can't use a term like EC2 or S3 with my client. I have to talk about either object storage instead of S3 or virtual machines. And here's the reason why. That's what the client knows. And as an architect, I've got to connect with the client and not spew off a lot of jargon. So it's valuable, but it teaches skills other than what we do. Here's what we actually do as architects. We ask the client about the vision for their business. We learn and understand the organization's business processes. We evaluate our client's technology and see if it can get them to their future goals. We evaluate the organization's ability to change both in people, processes, and technology. We'll create and lead architecture teams to design our solutions. We'll present solutions to clients and at conferences. We'll respond to requests for information, requests for proposal, requests for quotes or pricing. We'll help the account team develop a business case with a return on investment capital model. We'll be managing stakeholders. We'll be managing vendors. We'll be selling our solutions. We'll be writing thought leadership documentation, working with the C-suite and facilitating meetings. Sadly, none of that's taught in an AWS certification, but that's really what we do in our job. So you might say getting hands-on and learning how to configure things will help me design things. Sadly, that's not the case. And that's why they don't ask construction workers to design skyscrapers or shopping malls. And I'll give you the example of why it doesn't work. I'm assuming that all of you work with your PC or your Mac every day. You've got lots of hands-on experience with a computer. How many of you understand how that CPU operates? What a level one, level two, and layer three cache on a CPU does? Do you understand how that DRAM puts things into the CPU from, from random access memory. Do you understand the PCI bus on your system and the SATA versus a SAS interface versus NVMe storage? Do you understand how that operating system has a kernel and how that manages memory and schedules tasks? I could go on forever, but the chances are you don't because you've been doing building or hands-on use. And when you do hands-on cloud projects or hands-on certification work, you learn how to build, but you don't learn how to design. And that's the key is you need to be good at the actual job. So what's it going to take for you to get hired? You need to be able to do the job and you need to have all those skills that I told you that we do as cloud architects. You have to remember, this is an executive career and to be able to do the job, you've got to be great at it. And here's the great news for all of you. You don't need to know everything and no one's going to expect you to. You just need to know how to design, present and sell a solution. Now, I want you to get a full list of the skills and I'm gonna give you some free resources that's gonna help you. In the description of this video, we have a how to get your first cloud architect job ebook. And it's gonna list every skill you need and what it's gonna to take to get you hired. We also hold a completely free how to get your first cloud architect job webinar. And we will spend 30 to 45 minutes going over the role. And we'll give you about 90 minutes on Zoom to ask questions. We can assess you because I want you all to get the best cloud architect jobs or AWS solution architect jobs or Azure solution architect jobs. This is the best career in the world. I love it. I've done it for 25 years. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to be notified so you get new videos to help you in your cloud architect or solution architect career. 
This is Mike Gibbs signing off for now. I look forward to seeing you on a free webinar or seeing you on another video. Take care.